What's going on, guys? It's Xpec Greatness here from IXO Gaming, and today we have another Thursday threesome. Let's see who we got. You got me. You got me. You're a big noob. And Ryan Davis rants. That, that was like in perfect harmony. That was <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. All right, so now that we nailed the intro, um, today we're gonna be talking about coincidence because we all sort of met, not just us three, but our whole sort of online group of e penises group of soldiers uh i like e penises more but anyways um so oh basically just a quick rundown so how me and jeff met which basically led me to all the rest of everybody that i pretty much hang out with now online is um i joined a random match and i think it was because my friend wanted to see me play because he was over at my house like right before um right before he had to leave or something so i i joined a match and it was late game, and we were losing by a little bit, but uh, there's this guy on the, on the same team as me going ham. So I was like, okay, he's got kill streaks and stuff. I just need to start jumping on flags, and we can win this thing, because we're only down by like 10 or so. I think there was quite a bit of match left to go. So um, he did go ham. He went like 62-4, and four, and it was actually a video uh, um, that he posted on his channel. And it was the, the match that I met him in. And after that, I added him, and, you know, we started hanging out more and stuff, and, I, and then I met all his friends and stuff, and then Doozy found his channel, and it just kind of led on and on and on to this, uh, you know, group of people that we hang out with now. So um, so what do you guys think about coincidence? Well, I think uh, coincidence is just kind of coincidental. Oh, really? Really, yeah, really. I mean, I don't really have much to say about it yet. I haven't fully developed my thoughts yet, so I'll go figure out dry humping my leg all over my face and my lower back. Okay. I'll go first. Um, you know, coincidences are really, really crazy. You know, like you might like meet somebody in the street, like who might be your future wife. You know, just because like you, you they have to borrow a pen because they need to write a check or something. You know, like you never know like what's gonna happen. Like I met, I don't the reason I got a PS3 because Jeff had a PS3 and I'm like right in on here who's like a freaking god at Call of Duty. I'm he denies it though. <laughs> uh, uh, Jeff's pen is huge. Um, so yeah, it is. I, I kind of think that coincidence is like is basically the reason what happens in life happens like everything. Um, if, if you just think about it because I, I don't know if this is, is true for everybody but probably a, a, like majority of us in this call probably were accidents if you think about it. Um Oh, thanks. I'm that sure makes me feel good about myself. Uh, normally, oh, normally, kids are accidents. Okay, oh, fine. Awesome. Awesome. dropped. Um, uh, but, and also, like, just, like, how your parents met and stuff, things like that. Everything that you have in life has a coincidence. Like, you could, you know, decide to go to a different movie one day or something, and maybe that movie, like, inspires you to make movies, and then you become a movie star, and I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like, no, if you crazy. take a left step instead of a right step, it might affect your entire future and, like, make, like, Ryan Davis president or something. You never know. Yeah, yeah how crazy would that be? It'd be beast mode. It'd be, like, Ryan Davis for president, I'd be voting for him. And all of a sudden yeah. you have people in John McCain masks that you have to prosecute. <laughs> you know what? Nobody can leave me alone ever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't. It's a it coincidence doesn't. that you guys make fun. No, it isn't. I lied. It's just you guys don't like me. Anymore. We just control each other. It's just a fact of life. Um... Yeah, but I don't know. Coincidence is it's it can be good and it can be bad, you know. Yeah, you never know what uh, might come out of the coincidence. Yeah. Like you drop your backpack before you go on the bus and it delays the bus, and if you didn't like drop your backpack, then you would have been on time for school, but the school really blew up, so you saved an entire bus of people. Yeah, that's a that's a good example. That's I, a good example. It happens a lot too. Yeah, it does. It's a big, big I see schools blowing up on the news all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's like every other day. Uh, but um, yeah, it's it's really insane if you think about it. It's kind of like the butterfly effect. Um, yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, I, I haven't seen the movie, but it's an interesting concept. I see. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I, yeah, I like one thing affects another, and like entire chain effects and gets bigger yeah. and bigger. It's like TNT. Calling the inverse TNT. squared law. The inverse squared law. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness I'm a loser uh, I don't know when you think about it like the whole me meeting you think seems pretty small compared to other things that happen because of uh, because of coincidence yeah it does seem kind of small but out of all the people that play PlayStation it, you know but it, it's not like a big what if my internet connection just went out or something what if Call of Duty just didn't put me in that game I don't know 
Yeah, what if matchmaking was different? Or what if I just had a bad game? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What if you what if you like what if you it just wasn't your game, you went like fifteen and seventeen or something, you know, not terrible but not, not good. It would just be like it stand. wouldn't even be a thought. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And then after and afterwards you found out how bad Jeff really is. He just had a great <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just got lucky. Uh, don't just tell anybody I was really just boosting that whole game. <laughs> <laughs> you have it on your channel. <laughs> yeah, but they were invisible boosters. Yeah. <laughs> You, you, um, Winning! We got Davis to laugh. <laughs> just edit in the video so you didn't have to delete the scoreboard shot. So you edited yeah. the video so you could use the scoreboard shot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, yeah, but places are, can be great and they can be awesome. You know, you got to take them by stride and see how they go. Yeah. And now we play Call of Duty all the time together. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. It's not just us. There's like way more people. Yeah, we have a ton of people we can play with. Like we get like under, we get like uh, um, ground war people. Like we get nine people in a party. Yeah, 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 we have nine people lobbies all the time, and then even then sometimes we have too many. And they have the talking stick and stuff, and it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, talking. Yeah, stick. but then Davis has to ruin it when he goes, "I'll be back in five minutes." <laughs> yeah, you know what he's doing. You know, Davis, yeah. He's checking his email. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> No, but, um, yeah, like, I, sometimes our parties get so big that we have, like, a talking stick going around, because, uh... Yeah, and then I rebel against it, then I get muted for, like, five minutes. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff That's got... That's my punishment. Jeff got, yeah, he got prosecuted. Yeah. On his record now. Every college he applies to is gonna know that he got muted for five minutes by everybody in the party. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's worse than just going to jail. He's not gonna get you a few jobs because of that as yeah. well. So I don't like to share the talking stick. You know, it's yeah. man, you know, maybe it's a job. Yeah, maybe, maybe a job's like, wow, this guy really um, has learned his lesson, and he's a good person now. We're gonna hire him as the community manager of Infinity Ward. <laughs> I'm gonna say that'd be pretty cool, but I really don't want death threats. Oh, I, I have no control over. I I think that'd be a fun job. Yeah, you just be like, yeah, I'm I'm cooler than you, and then you just get trolled. No, I think that, um, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'd approach that job, to be honest. Um, I'd hide in, like, a panic room. Yeah. And say, please don't blow me up. I didn't do it. I use Ghost Pro. <laughs> yeah. That's, I don't know. It's just crazy. And what if, I don't know, what if um people just didn't buy Modern Warfare 3 or something? What if Call of Duty never became a big game? I don't know. It's crazy to think about all those scenarios. Yeah, what if, like, Modern Warfare 3, like, never took off and, like, it, like, completely, like, shut the bed and stuff and we never met? Yeah. What if hackers took over PlayStation again? Yeah, well, what if PS3 was hacked? That's crazy. Uh, what if I was a robot? Person smacked them in the face several hundred times. If I was a robot. You know, my mom was, would have been a boy if, like, her mom, like, I don't know, kind of... Different chromosomes? No, 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 not that. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, they had, like, a miscarry or something. That, like, just... Oh, I, I've heard of that, too. Yeah. Imagine that. I don't know. That's... It's so crazy to think about. It really is. Wait, no. Your mom wouldn't have been a boy. She just uh, wouldn't exist. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, though, right? A boy? Yeah. That doesn't be the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful comparison. It is. Yeah. Uh, and now we're planning on going to Pat. Acts together next year, man. It's crazy. Dude, we're yeah. gonna have, we're gonna just tear it up, dude. We're gonna put the, we're gonna put the convention on our backs, yo. Dude, he's gonna, <laughs> Ed Sox is gonna be there. Yo, did he say he's gonna go? I don't know, but we're gonna make him. We're gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna force we're gonna him. him. <laughs> Davis, we're gonna give him roofies. Crit sister's coming. <laughs> yes, definitely. I'll be there. Crit sister. All right, that's almost the time for the video, guys. We have about 30 seconds left. What do you want to? uh... I'll be at Pax. Doozy, I said that. I said you would be a pack. Doozy is no longer a threesome. It's a thirsty orgy. Yeah, it's an orgy. Um, so I'm pretty sure orgy is like six or more. Running at the end of the time. I like to say I love you all, and you're all great. Bye. Right, yeah. And I had something to say, but... That was the best part of this commentary. Bye, 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 bye. Great insight. <laughs> no, please! Jeff, say goodbye. No, please! Okay. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Bang!